Hey, I'm photographer David Bergman, and this is Two Minute Tips for Adorama TV. So here's something we all do. We take pictures of our friends and family on vacation in front of some tourist attraction or monument. I'm gonna show you some tips to make those pictures a lot more dynamic. One mistake I see a lot of people make is they want to get their friend and the monument in the same photo, so they put the person way back up against it. The problem is they become a tiny little speck a million miles away. Depending on how much you actually like that person, that may be the look you're going for. However, next time what you might want to do is bring them up closer to the camera. Don't bring them in too close or they're going to be really distorted. You just want to be able to see their face clearly. It's okay if they cover a little bit of the monument, you can still tell exactly where you are. An extra advantage of bringing them in so close is you can throw a little fill flash on them just in case you're in bad light or in front of a sunset or you can also darken the sky that way. Lastly, if you want to isolate them from the background while just giving a little hint of the monument, you can back up and use a longer zoom lens to decrease your depth of field. So remember, to make your vacation photos just a bit more dynamic, bring your subject up closer to the camera, throw in a little fill flash if you want to fix bad light or darken your background, and back up and zoom in a lot more to isolate them from the background. Thanks for joining me today on Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos, follow me on social media at David Bergman, and go to the Adorama Learning Center for lots of other great tips and tricks.